Let's be better. Here it is. Fully charged. It said 100% when I pulled it out. Um, it's been here in front of the... It's in the sun, but it's been... The, the fan has been blowing on it, so... I'll probably let it blow on it for a minute, and then... While we take this battery out. So we're going to go ahead and take the Sauron battery out, and I think that's it for today. For, for you, buddy. Um, so, yeah, the reason, we, the reason we didn't have regen was because... Uh, um, the, uh, the amps were set too low for the regen, so... I feel I probably should have checked it, you know, before we thinged it, so that's why we had no region, so I will definitely check it this time. Okay. Alright. Alright. Man, I am tired. I kinda don't wanna <laughs> ride anymore, man. I think I'm gonna take a water break, dude. It's there's not really that many people out there anyway, so. Alright, here's my god. Alright, here's my here. Here we go. Full power sewer on now, baby. Full power, max power. Here we go. Max power. Woo! Max power, max power. Alright, so there's not a lot of people out there right now, so we can put some good lap times down. I'm gonna put some. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Full power sewer on, baby. So we gotta remember, we're at 100% right now, so we need to uh, take it easy for the first lap. So I got my regen back, by the way. <laughs> I have it set properly this time. Okay. So we'll just do kind of half throttle to burn off some of that extra energy. In fact, what I think you should do is just not charge it all the way. I think you should have it at like 95%, you know. So we'll go warm the tires up. Oh, the bike rips, man. It's good to get some wind over me, man. Right, I, have, I have the bike set to 15... 1,500 watts, okay? We were doing 1,600, 16,000 before, but I was like, nah, let's, let's turn it down a little bit. Oh, the region is so strong now. So definitely don't want to go fast here because you're going to go through his turn right here. Okay. Okay, that's worth slap. I think we got our regen, so let's get the tires warm. Hopefully the tires are warmed up. Don't go too crazy. You definitely can't get on the throttle as much. <laughs> it's so much power, dude. Big bikes coming up behind us. Don't worry about it. Woo. All right. Go, 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 go. They're catching up. Just kind of let it freewheel on the corner, man. You don't have to go that fast. Still can't 
keep up with the big bikes. <laughs> There you go. Woo! The rips, dude. Go, 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 go! Yeah, it's too much power. I have to slow down, you know. It's better to kind of not use all the power until you need to get rock it out of the corner, you know. Just kind of bleed speed through the corner. Okay, I feel the bike getting slowed around. We've been out here for four minutes. The bike should still have pretty good performance. So I'm trying not to go too fast, man. Except for right here. This is where you want to get your speed. I feel that the region doesn't slow it down as good as the regular brakes, man. Scraping my boot. I'm the only one out here. I'm trying to ride me out. Nice. Try to get all your braking done before you go into the corner, man. No trail, try not to do trail braking. This region is kind of, mm, you know, it's better to be on the throttle than braking, you know, on the corner. Not enough, not enough time to get speed, man. Focus on getting a good line. There you go. Right off of the rumble strips. Knee over, yeah, knee over to rumble strips, there you go. Focus on a good line. I would say even you could even go over those rubber bumper things, man. We've been out here for seven minutes. Has got some pretty good grip. No, you're not getting your knee over to the thing, man. You gotta get your knee over to apex. There you go, like that. Then get on it. There you go. I feel the bike's getting a little slower. Man, this is so much fun with the light speed battery, I'm telling you. <laughs> this power is excellent. I don't know what, we'll have to see how much faster, how fast it is compared to the KLX. I don't think it's faster than the KLX, but it's probably close.
Yeah, you're braking too much, man. You need to brake harder and then just turn the bike. Brake hard, turn the bike. There you go. Get on it, get on it, get on it. There you go. I wish I had like some club in bars, man. Oh, back slid out. Ah, we could have got on the throttle faster there, man. Nine minutes. Bike is starting to slow down. I can feel it. There you go, knee over the apex, there you go. Go wide, knee over the apex, there you go. Remember, the bike won't turn if you don't give it gas. <laughs> There's no way we're going to catch up to those guys. Let's go over the bumper. There you go. I haven't quite got that tic-tac-toe down, man. I got it a good couple times, but... Eleven minutes. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Apex, there you go. Yeah, we're got some pretty good grip right now, man. Oh, the bike is really slowing down now. It's overheating. Nice! Over the rumbles. Over the apex. That's how I like it. Apex did as, as they say, right? This track is actually the perfect size for this bike. It's just enough that it feels like, you know, it's a bigger bike. Like on a real race track. Thirteen minutes. Something fast coming up behind us. Ah, holy moly! Holy sh! Did you see that? <laughs> the fuck, did, did you see that? <laughs> Holy crap! Yeehaw! That was Max right there, by the way. 
He is super fast. He just passed that R3 like nothing. He didn't even break a sweat. Yeah, that R3 is getting pretty fast, man, because uh, I can't catch her. I'm catching up slowly, but... For 14 minutes, I can do one more lap, so you got one more lap to try to pass that, that uh, R3. Oh, the bike's getting slow now. Okay, I'm gonna go one more lap so we can pass the R3. The bike's getting really slow though. Just got a little bit more power than me, just a little bit. My gearing is good for this track. Oh, the bike's run out of power, dude. If it has at full power right now, we would have her. I bet she doesn't even know we're here. <laughs> Damn it! We can't pass it on the straight! I can pass it on the corner. We have to pass on the corner, dude. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, they exited. I was going to pass, and then they exited. I'm like, you're supposed to put your hand up when you exit, you know? <laughs> that was Max again. I heard him. I heard it was going to come on the right, so I straightened the bike up. <laughs> I'm getting bullied by Max. <laughs> Okay, the bike is seriously low on power right now. Okay. Oh, we sit out there 17 minutes. Okay, so definitely after 10 minutes, the bike gets slower. After 15 minutes, the bike gets even slower. So, yeah. Well, I can tell you this. I could ride this bike all day. It's so easy to ride it. It's so light, you know. I love it, man. The R3 was, uh, it was, it had more power on the straights, though. So, shit, dude. I almost hit her. <laughs> I was gonna go past on the outside, and then she exited right away. I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> I was like, "Whoa, back off!" Uh, so, all right. Um, okay, I think we're gonna go out on the KLX. I'm gonna take a water break. Then we'll go out on the KLX. We'll charge this guy. It's at 71 percent. We hit a max speed of 49.1 miles per hour. Pretty good, dude. That was really good. 29.3 mile an hour moving average. We we're out there for 18 minutes. It hung in there the whole time. The bike was running pretty great the whole time. 
about the nine, ten minute mark, it runs out of, it starts to, no power, okay? That's what's going happening. It starts to run out of power at, not after nine or ten minutes. But, uh, uh, what is it? Um, and then after 15 minutes, it runs out of even more power. <laughs> So like progressively, it just runs out of power. Let's feel how hot the motor is. Oh yeah, the, oh yeah, the motor's really hot. So that's probably it. The motor's overheating. Let's get a let's get a temp temp thing on that. Let's get the temperature. Okay, let's on get it. a temp on the motor. I think the motor's overheating. 120 120 Fahrenheit for the motor. Yeah, 126, 129, 130. Oh, let's get the heat sink. Yeah. Well, it's actually cooler at the heat sink. It's about 100. The motor's pretty hot, so that could be the problem. The heat sink is a little bit hot. The main heat sink... Let's see how much the main heat sink is. The main heat sink is 96 degrees. That's not bad. 97. I, my heat sink is 100, though. How is it my heat sink is hotter than the one on the, on the, that's already on the controller, right? 96. Yeah, it's about 100. It's pretty warm. It's pretty toasty, but, uh, it's definitely not overheating. I, I, it could be overheating. I think everything is overheating. That's what's going on. Let's check the battery temp real um, quick. I wanted to pass that R3, and then, uh, when I was going to pass it, she exited. <laughs> I was like, ah, dang it! I think we got some good lap times in though, so that's that's a, this is a good benchmark thingy, right? Forty-eight point five degrees Celsius. That sounds hot. One hundred eighteen degrees. One hundred eighteen degrees is the battery, so the battery is hot too. Everything got hot. Everything. So I I would say it's probably close to ninety degrees right now. So um, I think it held in there pretty good. If if uh, I don't know, man. I don't know if it can hang in there for a race though. 15 minutes? It can barely handle 15 minutes. 15 minutes is about how long a race should be, you know? So that's what I figure. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so I'm, I was pretty happy with that. I think we got some good times. Let's let this bike cool down. We'll take that one out. And then uh, this is really hot. It's 120 degrees, so um, I think we should let it cool down. We gotta put it in the shade somehow. Uh, Alright, I'm pretty happy. Hades Miguel. So I want to take a water break, then we're going to take that one out. Alright.